Hey guys, in today's micro lecture, we're gonna talk about managing the overdose patient. Now, overdoses are extremely common. Um, there are certain populations who are more vulnerable to overdoses than others, but regardless of the population you're serving, it's the paramedic's role to work out quite a few different things uh, in term, including what the patient has taken, when they took it, why they took it, um, and to work out if there's anything you as the paramedic can do to be able to help resolve that situation temporarily in an, in an acute manner. So when you arrive on scene at an overdose, of course you have to follow your primary survey because you have to be mindful that it might not be a safe environment. In the cases that I've been to, there's generally been two types of overdose. There are those patients who have taken illegal drugs such as heroin, cocaine, street drugs, and there have been those cases whereby people have taken pharma pharmaceutical drugs that have been prescribed by the GP. Um, so there are at least two different cases where you're going to present. And regardless of each one, you have to make sure it's safe. And in my experience, generally speaking, they have been safe on, on all occasions, but I'm sure that there are um, anecdotal experiences whereby paramedics have not been safe. So safety is, is paramount. Um, you're following your primary survey. Really, that is the key to, to managing the situation. Danger response. Hello, can you hear me? Open your eyes. Because at this point, it doesn't matter what drug they've taken. Airway. What's the airway doing? Head tilt, chin lift. While you're doing all this, you're listening to the bystanders who are telling you, look, they've taken this, they've taken it then, and they've taken so much. There's a suicide note. Maybe there's not a suicide note. And again, you've got to use this to help you to determine what you're going to do next, whilst at the same time not being distracted by what you're doing, which is tipping that head back, getting that tongue off the back of the airway, checking to see if they're breathing. Because if they're not breathing, you're gonna to need to do bag valve mask ventilation for them. Um, and of course, establishing cardiac arrest is really, really important too, because if they're not breathing, they look like they're hypoxic, no signs of life, not moving, then of course you would establish cardiac arrest and get onto the chest, according to the Australian Resuscitation Council guidelines. So once you've established the A, Bs and Cs, at some point in that situation, depending on whether they're conscious or unconscious, um, does depend on what you do next. So if they're unconscious and you know that they've taken sedative, for example, um, let's just go with heroin or codeine or morphine because they all come from the same family, you can actually give Narcan according to your guidelines. Um, let's say, for example, someone's taking a, uh, who's conscious and breathing and they're taking these drugs. Again, you still need Narcan, but you need to manage it in a slightly different way because they're not unlikely they're gonna let you go near them because they've paid a lot of money for that fix and they don't want you to ruin it. Um, if your patient's taking stimulants, for example, cocaine, some adult services will allow you to give sedatives such as benzodiazepines uh, to try and relax the patient and to try and sedate them. Others don't, so it very much does determine on the scope of practice indicated by your ambulance service. But regardless of what's occurring in terms of which drug and what scope of practice you've got, the way of managing uh, an, an overdose is to do your primary survey listen to the history, work out the nature of the drug, Come, work out if the patient's got an ABC problem, if they have, de deal with that first. If they haven't, you can move on to your secondary survey um, and try and convey to hospital if it's indicated. So you can see how um, the primary survey and the secondary survey mnemonic, which is something we keep talking about time and time again, is so important for you guys as, as paramedics and early practitioners and even, even experienced practitioners. So that's um, Drug Overdose. I hope you've enjoyed this session and I look forward to speaking to you again shortly. Take care. Bye-bye.